Hey guys, it's Vlogmas Day 9, and today I promise you no drama, no tears. Because <laughs> the past whatever couple days it's been pretty emotional. Okay, so it's pouring with rain outside, so I have jackets for the dogs, which Chloe's, or yeah, Tripsy saw it and ran away. Chloe, I don't even know where she's hiding. Chloe? Oh, there you are. Hi, oh, it's so nice and warm in here. Okay, we gotta take your sweater off. Oh no. She's like, I was sleeping, excuse me. Yeah, you get one too, Trippy Dip. There we go. One schnauzer. She almost escaped. Alright. <laughs> I'm coming, Molly. Just a second. They're not happy. Oh, Molly, you made her fall off the bed. Well, she jumped, but still. Oh, God, Molly's so excited. Molly, okay, let's go. Let's go. She's like, they're in jackets, they're in jackets. Okay, let's go, girls. So much excitement. Today I had to wear, like, a real rain jacket. Not my, like, white thing. Now it's, like, a full-blown, huge tent of a rain jacket. <gasps> We're going for a walk. It is raining. <laughs> Yuck. Really muddy. Come on, Tripsy, in your jacket. <laughs> Tripsy took one look at me and then started barking her head off, like, warning bark. Like, she didn't know who I was in this, like, huge oversized jacket. She was like, ah. and You're so silly. And it's just mom. We survived being out in the wind and the rain, so we're home again. I'm going to have like a hot drink, hot chocolate maybe, um, and then work on those candy skewers. I did a couple yesterday um, to hand out to my kids yesterday, and I actually I filmed doing it, but then with the emotional evening, I forgot to I put that footage in the video, so I'm gonna put it today. So I just wanted to be upfront with you because you'd be, I not, I mean, some really observant people will be like, well, you don't have nail polish on today yet. It shows that you did in that clip. So anyways, just because I could refilm it today, but it's exactly the same as what I did yesterday. So I'm just going to use yesterday's clip. Um, but yeah, I'm doing the exact same thing today. <laughs> The kindergarten to grade twos, they're getting these little teddies. Um, and then, so these were from Costco. They came in the big eight pack, um, although one of them got eaten by the dog, so that one doesn't get to be given out to kids. Um, and then I picked up these from last year, and I didn't taste the gummy, but I tasted the candy cane and like a one, and it still tastes fine. It's not like, you know how sometimes they get really like gummy because they're from a year ago, but anyway, so yeah, they're getting that. And then for the grade three to sixes, the, I, as you saw, I made these candy skewers, so they're getting the candy skewers, and then they're each gonna get uh, two lip balms as well. And so these were kind of, again, I showed when I was unboxing all my Christmas stuff. Again, something that I picked up from last year, originally $12, you can't, it's not focusing, but I think they were like $3 or something. Um, so, like, this girl's getting candy cane and Christmas cookie, this one's getting spearmint and hot apple cider, so those look good. And then for my grade seven and ups, I am doing just a box of chocolate. So this, um, these ones I got from Shoppers Drug Mart, and they're pretty much, like looking at the picture, they're pretty much like the Ferrero Rocher chocolates, but not as expensive. <laughs> like they don't really look the exact same, but these were on sale at Shoppers Drug Mart last week for $3.99, which is pretty good. I mean, for all these ones, the younger students, we try to keep around the two to three dollar mark. So this one was like four something with tax, but still I think a really good deal. And it's, I don't know, I think it looks, it's a substantial enough present without going overboard. And yeah, last year was hearing, so we had to do something different this year. So those are presents, so I'm just going to wrap them now. I have 
doggy <laughs> wrapping paper for the young ones and then I'll have something a little more <laughs> mature for the older ones. Um, but yeah. So I'm editing the blondie recipe, but I'm also painting my nails. It's the same color that I painted last time. It is mint candy apple. I meant to do, it's from Essie, I meant to do some nail art with this, like on top of it, but then I never got around to it. So hopefully I'm going to do some nail art on it this time, as this is like the base color. Let's go pee before mommy changes and gets ready for work. She's like just flailing around. Tripsy's like, oh, my candy cane is there. That's because you left it out there at night and it got so wet. So it has to dry. We're not taking it in because it's soaking wet. She's like, oh, I'm taking it with me to pee. <laughs> it's, it's soaking wet. Christmas earrings of the day are snowflakes, really big snowflakes. But again, it's the week before holidays, so it's okay if we're going go big or go home when it comes to earrings. So yes, yeah, very big. I just realized that I did two to Sophie, and then one of my other students I forgot. And so I tried to peel it off and it wasn't working. So then basically because it's wrapped around, I like cut this and then cut it here and then just taped it. And then I was like, what can I have it on? So then I have a sticker. So, and then I wrote her name and then from Christy. So I'm gonna stick it on there. Whew, almost had a heart attack. I was like, oh no, I wrote the same kid's name twice and not the other one. So thank God. I have made that better. What size should I put on? There we go. I'll cover that. Oh, no, you can't tell the difference. Whew. Problem averted. So I got to come home for a bit. Um, I got to leave work a little half an hour early just because so many people are sick and away. Um, and then I called the uh, YMCA and asked if hip hop is taking place, and they said yes. So I'm like in five minutes I'm about to leave. But I just wanted to mention, I've been reading all of the comments on, like that went up on the um, Vlogmas Day 8 about the finding the pants and stuff. And uh, like I, I appreciate all of your comments and they do make me feel good. Um, but I just wanted to address things that honestly I don't like, I, I don't think Chad is a bad guy, you know? I have, uh, like honestly that for the four and a half years we were together you know it was the best four and a half years of my life like I I loved him so much I had a great relationship like I was you know I was honestly happy and I don't agree with how he handled things after the breakup in September and I guess leading up to it you know he sh if he was unhappy which apparently he said he had been unhappy for quite some time or quite a few months like I wish he would have told me and we would have worked through it you know so I don't think he handled that well but honestly like <laughs> even though I don't agree with how things are happening now I still think he is a good guy yeah he's a bit of a jerk for what he's doing now but like he was a good boyfriend at the time and I know a lot of people are saying you know he cheated on, on me and whatnot honestly I don't think so I think he had a lot of respect for me and I don't think he would do that I just don't think he's that type of guy um, however I do think um, that he got to know his now current girlfriend um, as a friend because they have a lot of the same hobbies. They sail together, so we'd see her every week and like at our regattas and stuff. And they cycle; they both do cycling. So I think he got to know her as a friend, and I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. And I think near the end, probably in August, when he already had in his mind that he was going to break up with me, I think then he started entertaining the idea just in his head about her and I think that's why he was able to, you know, jump from ending of our relationship to then jump right in, like, for, to a relationship with her. Um, but again, honestly, like, I don't think he cheated on me. I think, he, like, he had a lot more respect for me than, than that. So, like, I don't think he's a bad guy. I just think the way he handled things was pretty crappy and everything. Um, so anyways, and like, even like reading some of the comments, although they do make me feel good, but some things like people saying like they went back and watched the vlogs and stuff of our trips and, you know, saying, oh, I could tell he was a jerk or whatnot. You know, like, I, I don't agree with that. Like, when I was with him, I honestly, 
felt like a princess, like, or I guess, not like a conceited prince, but like I felt really good about us and our relationship and I was so happy. So, I don't know. I don't agree with that. Like, I think he was a really good boyfriend when he was one. <laughs> um, but I think he just wasn't ready to make a commitment, I guess, like, and, you know, we'd been together for five years, obviously he knew, and I, again, I did make it known that, you know, what's to come after you've been together for five years, and a lot of my friends, they're getting married and they're having kids, so, oh, don't eat the stick, um, so I, you know, I think he just re looked at his life and assessed where he is in life and realized he wasn't as far along with his work as he wanted to be at the age of 29 um, and then looked at me in my life where I you know I have a house I have like a, a job that I love you know like honestly like I love working in the vet but like I te I've been teaching for the past 11 years like and honestly I do have a plan or I did have obviously I don't anymore but I had a plan and I thought he fit into it and he knew my plan like he knew where I wanted to go um, again so we've been going out for five years and I guess he just realized he wasn't ready for that commitment he didn't want to settle down you know and it sucks that it took him like five years to realize that and even like two years of living with me to realize that you know, I, I'm not ready to settle down, but, you know, that's the reality of things. So, you know, I just, I don't agree with how he handled things, but I still think that at the time he was a great boyfriend and he was a good guy. He just, you know, it's, I'm, we weren't right for each other and that sucks, you know, like I wish we were and he, I don't know, like, and even with this thing with his girlfriend, like, Again, I don't think he cheated on me, but in his head, I think he was already entertaining the idea of what it would be like with her and having a friend, like, be more than friends with her and, like, at the end of it. Um, but honestly, if we had as strong as a relationship as I thought we had, he would not have been thinking of that, you know? Like, with me, he was the love of my life, honestly. Like, it's true, and I wanted to have a future with him. I was not thinking of any other guy. Like, I was just planning in my head my life with him you know but obviously for him he was not as invested in the relationship as I was because if he was it wouldn't have come to that you know so I don't know I don't know what you know like of course you I always play like what I did wrong what happened and I mean I've I've also like learned some things I think because I we were, I was what 23 when we started going out so I was definitely a lot more immature back then and I think I allowed myself to carry some of those traits forward whereas like now um, obviously I'm not <laughs> in any shape to be starting a new relationship I have to work you know just find time for myself but just going forward like a lot of the things how I did act in that relationship with Chad I wouldn't, you know, but I think because we, you know, were started dating when I was so young, I just allowed some of those immaturities to carry forward. And whereas I was growing in other aspects of my life, you know, buying a house and moving forward in that that way, I just I I didn't for all of my I don't know. I just so I've like I've come to realize things and you know, but again, you can't I can't play what could have I done differently and stuff, but basically I just honestly think he wasn't ready for that commitment like and he knew that I was you know so it sucks but I don't think he's a bad guy and again I don't think it was ever his intention to be you know like I don't even he didn't even say like oh I want to have my name on the boat um, or anything and he didn't even ask for the car I just wanted to stop paying you know I just wanted to get money back from the car insurance because I prepaid it all so that's why I you know was pushing in the to do like just transfer it over to him and I don't know and people are saying yeah sell the boat but I'm like I do I just I can't because our names are both on it so I can't do that myself so it's tricky I think now he's trying to play dirty which I never thought he would because like I don't know but it's just when you're in the relationship you don't you don't plan for things that what's gonna happen if things you know don't go wrong or go wrong you know so 
I don't know, but yeah, <laughs> that's it. Anyways, what time is it now? Um, 6.23, so I have to go to dance class now. Um, but yeah, thank you for all of your comments. I They do cheer me up. I just... I don't know. I guess there's a fine line. Like, I don't mind reading comments saying, like, what a jerk he's being and all that, but just to read things that say, as soon as I saw him in your vlogs and stuff, I knew he was an a-hole or something. You know, like, I don't know. Maybe I was just blinded by love, but honestly, I don't think that. Like, I think mean, he was a great boyfriend. You know, he really was. For four and a half to five years, he was amazing. So, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of touch base with that and yeah <laughs> anyways we are gonna say goodbye <laughs> and so much for not crying in this video gosh but yeah I just had been reading those so I just wanted to address some stuff with that as well and just I guess do a reply to the comments because I don't know if I'm gonna reply to each one of them like I do try to reply to comment like every single comment but I think based on the sensitive nature above stuff, um, those kind of comments I don't think I'm going to reply to, but again, I, you know, I, I have been reading them all, and so, and I appreciate the comments, um, even though I don't agree with some, and maybe you guys are right, I just can't see it, or maybe I'm right, and it's just, I haven't shared enough for you to kind of grasp the whole story, I don't know, um, but I just, yeah, that's, I just wanted to share my opinion with that, and that I am reading them, and yes. <laughs> okay, so going to grab something to eat quickly, like just grab and go, and I'm going to dance. Home from dance now, just spending time with, oh, I gotcha, the doggies. Oh, you're so squirmy. You're so squirmy. <laughs> Anyways, um, I wanted to show you a cute card and what I got from one of my students today. Um, oh, it doesn't want to focus. It says to Christy. And then, she wrote, did a little puzzle for me. He says like, find out what, what is that? Uh, find out what the message is by unscrambling. And then wrote, Merry Christmas, have a very fun time. See you in January, Happy New Year. And then from, and then turn the page, she wrote. And then, I got a Cineplex gift card, and then drama is awesome, it's super fun, I love it all. That's usually, and if that's not all, I also got a huge box of Roger's chocolates. Oh my god. We can't see it, I'm gonna open it. No, not for doggies. Mm, oh my god. <laughs> they stop gross. Oh, look at all that chocolate. Oh my god. Yum. Okay, I'm going to try some. Well, I don't eat the wrapper. I wonder if there's a mint, there's a little guide here. So, yes. Mm. Alright, if I not for you girls, I'm going to eat one later. Ah! So I have finished editing what I ate Wednesday and almost done the vlog. I just am going to add the clip, add the clip of this last bit. Um, but yeah, I also just wanted to say again, just thank you for all of your support. I mean, not only with the comments, but I've had a lot of people friend me on Facebook and um, message me or post on my wall and also tweet me messages as well. Just showing my support, or showing support to me, and, oh, you, you guys are really great, <laughs> you're awesome, um, and I think someone commented, who was Willow and Paisley, said, um, take your time and talk out, talk it out as much as you need to, and then hashtag YouTube therapy, and honestly, like, I think it does feel like that sometimes, so, as long as you guys aren't like, oh my god, she talks so much about such depressing things and stuff, but I think, yeah, it's nice to just be able to talk. Like, I have a couple close friends who I do talk to, but then, 
you know, it's also different. They have things going on in their lives that are really great right now. And yeah, they're good friends and they listen to me and they're there for me. But at the same time, like, I don't want to burden them. And I know they don't see it as a burden, or at least they'd never tell me. But at the same time, like, I don't know, I just... I feel bad if I'm like, oh yeah, come over, you know, don't spend time with your boyfriend, husband, fiance, um, and listen to me, like, bawling my eyes out for two hours. And again, like, they would, they would come over because they're my friends, but I just feel bad because I was like, they have better things to do in life than listen to Anyways, so whereas this, I can, like, vent as much as I want and then... If you guys had enough, you click out, and I'm not going to know. <laughs> or then you pause it, come back. You know, like, I don't know. So it's totally YouTube therapy. <laughs> so, and yeah, it is good just to get to talk. And I mean, I was thinking about it, and I was like, who knows? In, like, a year's time, hopefully I'll be with someone who's, like, treats me amazing and, you know, what I deserve. But, and then I'll look back at this and be like, oh my god, how embarrassing. But then I was like, okay, whatever, then I could like delete the videos or privatize them, you know, like when I'm in a better place in my life where I realize I don't want to have all that stuff out there. I don't know. Anyways, but just, yeah, being, being real with you guys, this is what my days are like sometimes, so. Anyways, that is going to be it tonight. You can see my pile of Kleenexes back there. And I have a little Tripsy snuggling. Hi, Trips. She's sleeping. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.